Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's very sunny today and I have done a lot of work in the garden. I uh, think a little bit crazy and I think mainly because I need to report a lot of my roses and keep the uh, you know keep up watering because we had quite you know hot and dry weather and it's have been so windy. Uh, the other day we got a little bit of rain but not much at all, just mainly just sprinkle around we we take a few, only a few drops actually um, but anyway I just re really want to film this video because I thought that it's very interesting uh, I want to show you uh, both of my David's autumn roses both they are deep burgundy red color and one is called mustard wood if you watch my rose, rose review video last year and I did the same rose review video of the other variety is called the prince now the prince is a bread um before months that food i think maybe around nine years in between um yeah but i think uh i i for me anyway they look very similar and i thought that it could very fun topic to show you because they are kind of both um, producing the blooms at the moment is there look at the months that wood over here look at this so so pretty i love the formation of the blooms look at that and i think after i show you like this and we're gonna cut the bloom kind of in the shady area and then we're gonna compare with the other one as well but here you can see the bush by the way this bush i didn't buy it i will gift it oh i don't know it's uh, in the a lady yeah and she got the kids and she doesn't want you know her kids running around with very tiny bushes so she offer on the garden group and then yeah i went to dig it up and i cut it very hard two years ago and um yeah it's doing really really well uh it's um quite old i have to say when i dug it up i guess already maybe 10 years old already um and <laughs> And the amount of the thorn is a little bit crazy because this variety is very famous for the thorn. Look at this. And I have to say, I love, love a deep red color. Look at that. So, so pretty. So, I did watch, uh, then you know, we watched some of my rose review video as well. And I did notice that my new phone now is, you know, it's full. Uh, if filming with the color is really really nice and it's really true true color on the phone i really love it and so that's why i really love to make the rose vb video for you as, as well okay so the level of the sand i think they are the same like well nine out of ten a good score for the uh the prince as well but the, uh, first you just yeah look at the, the the bush so this variety i feel they grow bigger than the prince because the prince i think i uh, mentioned in the video to, to you a while ago it uh on some website i just check it it just grow uh, 80 centimeter high and wide as well but this variety it, it look grow much bigger already but of course this um this one like the bush more established you know um yeah look look so so pretty okay let's go to my backyard i show you the prints that i grew in the container oh, by the way because it's in the ground as well so it grow much bigger than the prints that i got in the container all right i'm in my backyard and look at the whole roses over here i will show you some of the new roses i got over here very soon very bright orange color okay let's look at the the prints over here look at this guy oh my goodness can you believe that so so pretty look at this and both the blooms uh, i mean the the blooms of the monster that i show you in the fun and this one they are uh, uh, open in the third day okay so uh, for me monster wood a little bit deeper Red. do you think so yes i feel a little bit uh, deeper red i will cut the plume uh, and we're gonna compare as well when we look both of them in the same uh same same side or oh, that's very close to each other uh by the way last year i just uh, talked to you this bloom was well, 60 uh, six centimeter width but this year i do notice that it got bigger 
maybe the bush mold tar splits, you know, and then it got bigger. And this one, the bloom, this one quite aged already. This bloom, I think, open maybe for a week already and still look beautiful. Look at that. But the bloom is too big. I, th I think it's bending down. Look, this one was eight centimeter width. Look at that. It's very big. And the same for this one as well. Look at that. Oh, and look at the bush over here. The same in the container. I only to put the mulch down and some fertilizer. I do want to give it some compost though. Because you can see uh, the grass area uh, a little bit high and I want to top it some compost for it. Give it some nice nutrients and keep the moisture down as well. And this year it produced a lot, lots of, you know, water shoot there. You can see crazy. Um, and I did notice that this one, you can see that last year I did mention to you that uh, that this variety, the bloom often nothing down, you know. But this one, look, it not need nothing down, you know. But this one, example, the this one, the stem very weak, so this one nothing down. But look at this, this one, they not nothing down. Yeah, overall, the bush is very healthy, mustard root as well, very healthy, doing very well in our area. No pollening mildew, no black spot at all. And let me have a smell. Mmm, the scent is so strong. Oh, look at that. Uh, okay, let me cut the bloom. Uh, oh, and let's see uh, how big it's going to grow. Um, it grow a little bit taller than last year. Last year, I think, when I filmed the video, I think the blue, uh, the bush is around here. So I think now maybe 70 or 80 centimeter tall already. Yes, I could say 70 or 80 centimeter tall already. And the width still small to get like bushy, sending out a new shoot here. But because we still like in spring, so we here, let me, the, so far the, the shoot haven't produce long and big enough yes but of course i will keep you an update in the future but overall doing very well and the monster would i you know as i mentioned i mean the bush very old and it grow in the ground you know so that's why it go much bigger all right let me cut the blooms oh so here they are so before i thought that i put them under the car pot so i can see you know i or i can show you the color better but in there somehow too dark anyway i brought them back outside in the sun here next to my other roses so don't worry about this well just look at the two color over here on my right side this is monster wood and my left side this is the prince okay so you can see the monster wood the color a little bit deeper than the prince but somehow i feel this one have a bigger bloom than the man's dead wood and this one i feel it lasts a little bit longer as well uh even though you know it that got a little bit sunburned like in the hot days but so far this bloom still looking very good today the third day this one today the third day as well i haven't seen any sunburn but we caught not really in the summer yet but i did notice last year they got sunburn in the few days it's work well, we got high temperature. I fear that if you live in a very hot climate, and this one could got burned very bad, you know. But anyway, uh, the months that would as well, I just noticed when we got a high temperature, this one that got some burn as well. So both of them, they're not in the good, uh, they mean, not good idea to plant in the in the hot climate unless you produce uh, then you provide some shade for them in the afternoons, maybe a few hours of direct sunlight in the morning. All right, for the scent level, I just smell both of them and they have the same level of scent and the scents are so similar. Now, I can't tell much about the scent, I mean, even you know, the flavor, the kind of the uh, the of the um, scent because I'm not good at that. But anyway, the level, they are both very equally the same. I score them out 9 out of 10 for the scent. And um, yeah, for me, um, for me, both of them, they do have a somewhat nice similar, similar uh, They do have a must say good. They, the bloom, they are nothing down sometimes too. Uh, and most of the time as well. The must have got uh, good, have a, you know, very thorny stem. This one have a smoother stem, still have a, uh, still have a thorn, but have a, you know, less uh, amount of the thorns on, on the stem. And how to say, they both, they are very healthy. Uh, for me though, the prince put, you know, they grow more vigorous than the, 
than the monster goods. Um, I can't tell you much because you, you know the prince is the new rose that I got only last year. So that means the 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 grafted area is still young. So that was produced a lot of wood to shoot. Why the monster wood I got? Oh, I you know I got for two years, but also the bush were very old because someone gave me. So it haven't produced much of the wood to shoot at the base. But anyway, if you have a you know if you have room, why not to try both? And I think both they are very pretty, very pretty rose and lovely lovely scent and um yeah i love them both actually i always love deep burgundy red colors that's the only way my thing um and i do oh, don't get me wrong i lo do love a lot of pa other pastel color as well um but anyway uh for the health of both i i yeah if i if you really have to choose about the hair, I would choose the prints. I feel that the they have the healthier uh, leaves than the men's that's good, you know. Um, I think that this actually, I hope you enjoy this video and you find this video interesting and helpful. And so thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in this video. Bye bye.